A truck or lorry is a motor vehicle designed to transport cargo. Trucks vary greatly in size, power, and configuration, with the smallest being mechanically similar to an automobile. Commercial trucks can be very large and powerful, and may be configured to mount specialized equipment, such as in the case of fire trucks and concrete mixers and suction excavators. Modern trucks are largely powered by diesel engines exclusively, although small to medium-sized trucks with gasoline engines exist in America. In the European Union vehicles with a gross combination mass of up to 3,500 kg are known as light commercial vehicles, and those over as large goods vehicles. Terminology, etymology, the word truck might come from a back formation of truckle with the meaning small wheel, pulley, from Middle English truckle, in turn from Latin trochlea. Another explanation is that it comes from Latin trochus with the meaning of iron hoop. In turn, both go back to Greek troc whose meaning wheel from trichine. The first known usage of truck was in 1611 when it referred to the small strong wheels on ships' cannon carriages. In its extended usage it came to refer to carts for carrying heavy loads, a meaning known since 1771. With the meaning of motor-powered load carrier, it has been in usage since 1930, shortened from motor truck, which dates back to 1916. Lorry has a more uncertain origin, but probably has its roots in the rail transport industry, where the word is known to have been used in 1838 to refer to a type of truck, specifically a large flat wagon. It probably derives from the verb lorry of uncertain origin. With the meaning of self-propelled vehicle for carrying goods it has been in usage since 1911. Before that, the word lorry was used for a sort of big horse-drawn goods wagon. International variants. In the United States, Canada, and the Philippines truck is usually reserved for commercial vehicles larger than normal cars, and includes pickups and other vehicles having an open load bed. In Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, the word truck is mostly reserved for larger vehicles. In Australia and New Zealand, a pickup truck is usually called a ute, while in South Africa it is called a baki. In the United Kingdom, India, Malaysia, Singapore, Ireland and Hong Kong lorry is used instead of truck, but only for the medium and heavy types. In American English, the word truck is often preceded by a word describing the type of vehicle, such as a tanker truck. In British English these would be referred to as a tanker, or petrol tanker. In Australia and New Zealand, the term ute is used to describe a pickup truck with an open cargo carrying space but a front similar to a passenger car, and which requires only a passenger car license to drive. The concept was developed in 1933 by Lewis Band of the Ford Motor Company in Geelong following a request from a Gibbsland farmer's wife for a vehicle that they could go to church in on Sunday without getting wet and also used to take the pigs to market on Monday. Driving In the United States, a commercial driver's license is required to drive any type of commercial vehicle weighing 26,001 LB or more. The United Kingdom and the rest of Europe now have common, yet complex rules. As an overview, to drive a vehicle weighing more than 7,500 kg for commercial purposes requires a specialist license. For licenses first acquired after 1997, that weight was reduced to 3,500 kg, not including trailers. In Australia, a truck driver's license is required for any motor vehicle with a gross vehicle mass exceeding 4,500 kg. The motor vehicle's classes are further expanded as, LR Light Rigid, a rigid vehicle with a GVM of more than 4,500 kg but not more than 8,000 kg. Any towed trailer must not weigh more than 9,000 kg GVM. Mr. Medium Rigid, a rigid vehicle with two axles and a GVM of more than 8,000 kg. Any towed trailer must not weigh more than 9,000 kg GVM. Also includes vehicles in class LR, HR, heavy rigid, a rigid vehicle with three or more axles and a GVM of more than 8,000 kg. Any towed trailer must not weigh more than 9,000 kg GVM. Also includes articulated buses and vehicles in class a Mr. HC, heavy combination, a typical prime mover plus semi-trailer combination. MC, multi-combination for example, 
a bar doubles road trains. There is also a heavy vehicle transmission condition for a license class HR, HC, or MC test passed in a vehicle fitted with an automatic or synchromesh transmission, a driver a Euro unregistered trademark S license will be restricted to vehicles of that class fitted with a synchromesh or automatic transmission. To have the condition removed, a person needs to pass a practical driving test in a vehicle with non-synchromesh transmission. In 2006 the U.S. trucking industry employed 1.8 million drivers of heavy trucks. There are around 5 million truck drivers in India. Anatomy of a truck Almost all trucks share a common construction, they are made of a chassis, a cab, an area for placing cargo or equipment, axles, suspension and road wheels, an engine and a driver train. Pneumatic, hydraulic, water, and electrical systems may also be present. Many also tow one or more trailers or semi-trailers. Cab, the cab is an enclosed space where the driver is seated. A sleeper is a compartment attached to the cab where the driver can rest while not driving, sometimes seen in semi-trailer trucks. There are several possible cab configurations, cab over engine, or flat nose where the driver is seated above the front axle and the engine. This design is almost ubiquitous in Europe, where overall truck lengths are strictly regulated, but also widely used in the rest of the world as well. They were common in North America, but lost prominence when permitted length was extended in the early 1980s. To reach the engine, the whole cab tilts forward, earning this design the name of tilt cab. This type of cab is especially suited to the delivery conditions in Europe where many roads follow the layout of much more ancient paths and trackways which require the additional turning capability given by the short wheelbase of the cab over engine type. The COE design was invented by Victor Schreckenost. Conventional cabs are the most common in North America and Australia, and are known in the UK as American cabs, and in the Netherlands as torpedo cabs. The driver is seated behind the engine, as in most passenger cars or pickup trucks. Conventionals are further divided into large car and aerodynamic designs. A large car, or long nose is a conventional truck with a long hood. Aerodynamic cabs are very streamlined, with a sloped hood and other features to lower drag. Cab beside engine designs also exist, but are rather rare and are mainly used inside shipping yards or other specialist uses that require the vehicle to carry long loads such as pipes, metal rods, flat iron and other construction materials. This type is often custom made from a regular cab of a truck that gets the upper half of its cab removed on the passenger side and replaced by an extended section of the bed. A further step from this is the side-loading forklift that can be described as a specially fabricated vehicle with the same properties as a truck of this type, in addition to the ability to pick up its own load. Engine. The oldest truck was built in 1896 by Gottlieb Daimler. Most small trucks such as sport utility vehicles or pickups, and even light medium duty trucks in North America and Russia will use gasoline engines, but many diesel engine models are now being produced. Most of the heavier trucks use four-stroke diesel engine with a turbocharger and after cooler. Huge off-highway trucks use locomotive-type engines such as a V12 Detroit diesel two-stroke engine. Diesel engines are becoming the engine of choice for trucks ranging from class of 3 to 8 GVWs. North American manufactured highway trucks often use an engine built by a third party, such as CAT, Cummins, or Detroit Diesel, but both Mack and Navistar offer their own engines. In the European Union, all new lorry engines must comply with Euro 5 emission regulations. Driver train. Small trucks use the same type of transmissions as almost all cars, having either an automatic transmission or a manual transmission with synchromesh. Bigger trucks often use manual transmissions without synchronizers, saving bulk and weight, although synchromesh transmissions are used in larger trucks as well. Transmissions without synchronizers known as crash boxes, require double clutching for each shift or a technique known colloquially as floating, a method of changing gears which doesn't use the clutch, except for starts and stops, due to the physical effort of double clutching, especially with non-power assisted clutches, faster shifts, and less clutch wear. Double clutching allows the driver to control the engine and transmission revolutions to synchronize, 
so that a smooth shift can be made. For example, when upshifting, the accelerator pedal is released and the clutch pedal is depressed while the gear lever is moved into neutral, the clutch pedal is then released and quickly pushed down again while the gear lever is moved to the next higher gear. Finally, the clutch pedal is released and the accelerator pedal pushed down to obtain required engine speed. Although this is a relatively fast movement, perhaps a second or so while transmission is in neutral, it allows the engine speed to drop and synchronize engine and transmission revolutions relative to the road speed. Downshifting is performed in a similar fashion, except the engine speed is now required to increase just the right amount in order to achieve the synchronization for a smooth, non-collision gear change. Skip changing is also widely used. In principle operation is the same as double clutching, but it requires neutral be held slightly longer than a single gear change. Common North American setups include 9, 10, 13, 15, and 18 speeds. Automatic and semi-automatic transmissions for heavy trucks are becoming more and more common, due to advances both in transmission and engine power. In Europe, 8, 10, 12 and 16 are gears are common on larger trucks with manual transmission, while automatic or semi-automatic transmissions would have anything from 5 to 12 gears. Almost all heavy truck transmissions are of the range and split type, where range change and Euro called half gears or splits are air operated and always pre-selected before the main gear selection. Frame A truck frame consists of two parallel boxed or car Euro shaped rails, or beams, held together by cross members. These frames are referred to as ladder frames due to their resemblance to a ladder if tipped on end. The rails consist of a tall vertical section and two shorter horizontal flanges. The height of the vertical section provides opposition to vertical flex when weight is applied to the top of the frame. Though typically flat the whole length on heavy-duty trucks, the rails may sometimes be tapered or arched for clearance around the engine or over the axles. The holes in rails are used either for mounting vehicle components and running wires and hoses or measuring and adjusting the orientation of the rails at the factory or repair shop. The frame is almost always made of steel, but can be made of aluminum for a lighter weight. A tow bar may be found attached at one or both ends, but heavy trucks almost always make use of a fifth wheel hitch. Environmental effects Trucks contribute to air, noise, and water pollution similarly to automobiles. Trucks may emit lower air pollution emissions than cars per equivalent vehicle mass, although the absolute level per vehicle distance traveled is higher, and diesel particulate matter is especially problematic for health. With respect to noise pollution, trucks emit considerably higher sound levels at all speeds compared to typical car. This contrast is particularly strong with heavy-duty trucks. There are several aspects of truck operations that contribute to the overall sound that is emitted. Continuous sounds are those from tires rolling on the roadway, and the constant hum of their diesel engines at highway speeds. Less frequent noises, but perhaps more noticeable, are things like the repeated sharp-pitched whistle of a turbocharger on acceleration, or the abrupt blare of an exhaust brake retarder when traversing a downgrade. There has been noise regulation put in place to help control where and when the use of engine braking retarders are allowed. Concerns have been raised about the effect of trucking on the environment, particularly as part of the debate on global warming. In the period from 1990 to 2003, carbon dioxide emissions from transportation sources increased by 20%, despite improvements in vehicle fuel efficiency. In 2005, transportation accounted for 27% of U.S. greenhouse gas emission, increasing faster than any other sector. Between 1985 and 2004, in the U.S., energy consumption in freight transportation grew nearly 53 percent, while the number of ton miles carried increased only 43 percent. According to a 1995 U.S. government estimate, the energy cost of carrying one ton of freight a distance of one kilometer average is 337 a kj for water, 221 a kj for rail, 2,000 a kj for trucks and nearly 13,000 a kj for air transport. Many environmental organizations favor laws and incentives to encourage the switch from road to rail, especially in Europe. 
the European Parliament is moving to ensure that charges on heavy goods vehicles should be based in part on the air and noise pollution they produce and the congestion they cause, according to legislation approved by the Transport Committee. The Anuravig net scheme has been proposed, whereby the new charges would be potentially levied against things such as noise and air pollution and also weight-related damages from the lorries themselves. Sales and Sales Issues Truck Market Worldwide Largest truck manufacturers in the world as of 2011, largest truck manufacturers in the world as of 2012, by annual reports, comparison by country, showing semi-tractor, large rigid, and medium rigid by the same manufacturer when possible. Manufacturers. Operations issues, commercial insurance, prime reliability insurance coverage protects the truck from damage or injuries to other people as a result of a truck accident. This truck insurance coverage is mandated by U.S. state and federal agencies, and proof of coverage is required to be sent to them. Interstate trucks in the U.S. are required to have a minimum of $75,000 in liability insurance. This includes motor carriers operating vehicles with a gross weight rating in excess of 10,000 lbs. All motor carriers operating vehicles transporting materials classified as hazardous and which have a gross weight rating in excess of 10,000 lbs must have a minimum of $1 million in liability insurance. All motor carriers operating vehicles such as tanks or hopper-type cargo vehicles with a capacity in excess of 3,500 water gallons must have a minimum of $5 million in liability insurance. Pricing is dependent on region, driving records, and history of the trucking operation. Motor truck cargo insurance protects the transporter for his responsibility in the event of damaged or lost freight. The policy is purchased with a maximum load limit per vehicle. Cargo insurance coverage limits can range from $10,000 to $100,000 or more. Pricing for this insurance is mainly dependent on the type of cargo being hauled. Trucking accidents In 2002 and 2004 there were over 5,000 fatalities related to trucking accidents in the United States. The trucking industry has since made significant efforts in increasing safety regulations. In 2008 the industry had successfully lowered the fatality rate to just over 4,000 deaths. But trucking accidents are still an issue that causes thousands of deaths and injuries each year. Approximately 6,000 trucking accident fatalities occur annually in the United States. Fatalities are not the only issue caused by trucking accidents. Here are some of the environmental issues that arise with trucking accidents. 14.4% of trucking accidents cause cargo to spill, 6.5% cause open flames. The US DOT 2009 large trucks in fatal crashes with passenger vehicles with driver related factors figures show that in 22% of crashes the large truck driver was a factor while 80.5% of passenger vehicle drivers were alcohol or other drugs among heavy truck drivers were a factor in 0.31% of crashes, among passenger vehicle drivers they were a factor in 11.75% of crashes. Truck Shows In the UK, three truck shows are popular, Shropshire Truck Show and Ossestry Show Grant during May, the UK Truck Show held in June at Santa Pod Raceway, and FIA European Drag Racing Championships from the home of European Drag Racing. The UK Truck Show features drag racing with six-ton trucks from the British Truck Racing Association, plus other diesel-powered entertainment. In Mexico, the Anpact Auto Transporti Truck Show is well known as one of the biggest of the region. 2013 edition features trucker celebrity Lisa Kelly. Truck shows provide operators with an opportunity to win awards for their trucks. Gallery. See also. References. External links. Truck at DMOZ, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration Hutchinson, Jr., Rollin W. Motor Trucks, The New Freighters, Quicker and More Reliable Service, Cleaner and Less Congested Cities, Concrete Examples of Saving. The World's Work, A History of Our Time. XXIII, 268 Euro 187. Retrieved July 10, 2009. A.